So, George, obviously a, a pretty heartbreaking way to lose on the weekend, but I guess ultimately looking back, a, a performance much more like this team. Yeah, I think that was uh, recognisable of, of what we pride ourselves on. Um, you know, we knew it would be a big challenge going to Exeter, but we, we felt we had a good game plan. Um, you know, I, I knew the lads would respond to, um, you know, the last half an hour in the game before. And, you know, I thought we took it to Exeter. I thought, you know, for a team who've scored 21 tries in their last three home games, to, to keep them to three tries was great. And to outscore them with tries was, was really, really good as well. But, um, yeah, as you say, the, you know, the last minute of the game, it's a bit heartbreaking. And, um, you know, you, you have to swallow that. And, uh, and we have. And, like I say, we've, we've had a look at that, particularly the last six minutes of that game. And could we have managed that better? And there's some tough learnings for, for everybody there. But... Um, yeah, look, their, their attitude, the resilience, the way they approached it and, you know, took away some of Exeter's strengths that they've, they've put on everybody else at home was, uh, you know, was, was really good. So, you know, we just need to build on that now. Yeah, you mentioned after the game how proud you were of the performance and th there's a lot to build on there now, isn't there? Yeah, there is. And, and I think, you know, we, we know within this group, like, if, if we deliver certain things, you know, we're a really hard team to live with. Um, you know, and we also know where our weaknesses are and, and if we don't deliver sort of the baseline of, of what we set out, then, you know, it will be a battle. But from that point of view, you know, the, we all owned the week before and we all um, confronted it. And I think, you know, the guys are the ones who get to run out there and, and show how much it means to them. And I thought they did that. And plenty of confidence to take into this weekend's game against uh, quite a strong Leicester team. Yeah, I think, I think some connections are getting stronger. I think, you know, some of our attack was, was brilliant on the weekend. And, and like I say, some of our defence to to keep a team who was scoring so many tries to three tries was was really, really strong. Um, so, you know, the, the boys are in a good spot. They're, they're confident. They feel, um, you know, that, that we are getting better bit by bit. And, um, you know, I don't think we'll see a, a drop off in a game like we did previously again. Um, but, you know, we've got to bring it every week. We've got to keep pushing hard and, and that's what we're going to do. And as you know, Leicester, obviously, a really historic club like Gloucester. So it's always a good occasion when these two clubs go head to head, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's always, uh, like you say, two of the most historic clubs in the country with, you know, big support bases and, and both, you know, probably probably the two best places to play rugby in the Premiership. So from that point of view, it will always be a, a big game. And I think obviously with the Slater Cup involved, that adds some extra spice to it. And, um, you know, we, we think Ed's ours and Leicester think Ed's theirs. So... Um, from that point of view, you know, that's that will make it fiery. Yeah, plenty of emotion, isn't there, with the, with the Slater Cup to play for? Yeah, there's a huge amount of emotion. You know, whenever we're talking about Ed, it's, it's very emotional. Um, you know, some of us have known Ed a long time and, and some of these guys, you know, they, they've played week in, week out. Um, and it's a hugely emotional thing. And I think there's guys in the Leicester team, you know, Ben Youngs and Dan Cole, who who also, uh, you know, played a lot with Ed. And like I say, they, they'll be deeming this week as, as they want to get the Slater Cup to do the best for Ed. And, and we definitely want to represent Ed, um, you know, the best way we can. So, yeah, look, we, you know, we're going to fight hard on the weekend for that. Yeah, focus firmly on that game. But as you said last year, it's brilliant to be able to play for the Slater Cup and recognise Ed and obviously raise awareness for M&D as well. Yeah, yeah, it, look, it's, it's brilliant. You know, the, the, game, the game will be awesome, no doubt. But I think it is really important that we keep that awareness there. You know, it, Ed's an unbelievably brilliant bloke and, and the way he's um, dealing with and dealt with, you know, with what's happened so far is unbelievably admirable. And you talk about bravery and courage and, you know, all the stuff that you, you want rugby players to hang their hat on. Like Ed's, you know, in the ultimate test of that and he's just coming through and when you see him, he's positive and, um, you know, he's so in touch with the game as well. I had a great chat with him the other week and he knows everything that's going on and, you know, uh, make sure you push this bloke and this and, and this sort of stuff. And he's, you know, he's, he's a brilliant bloke for me because, you know, he's a, he's a good sounding board and he understands the way I think and he understands this team. So, you know, he's, he's very, very close to us and it's important that, you know, we recognise what a brilliant bloke is and, and we keep the awareness going of, you know, of what he's fighting for. And lastly, as well, obviously a double header with Gloucester Hartbury this this week. Um, obviously, last time they were here, they won their, their league, so there's plenty of inspiration for both teams to take from that, isn't there? Yeah, I think look, the ladies did an amazing job last year. You know that that final here was was outstanding, and you know, uh, and and those guys also donating the money to to the Four Red campaign was was outstanding from them. I thought, um, you know, and and they're just getting stronger and stronger, and um, you know, we've got a good connection and. 
I think it's outstanding that the club's going to have a, a double header and I think it'd be brilliant and, and hopefully everybody watches both games and you know they're both good spectacles so you know it's a really exciting day on the weekend and um, look, we'll all be we'll all be fighting to get wins. Yeah, we know what King's home can be like on a on a home match day, and and that day here in June for their final as well. The Gloucester fans really turned out. So th this double header on the weekend's got all the makings of a of a good spectacle, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It does. The atmosphere that day was brilliant, and the atmosphere here is always brilliant. You know, like it's uh, it's always rocking. So I think you know, hopefully we get a full house for both games, and and as you say, there'll be uh, you know lots of excitement and lots of noise. Cheers, George. Cheers.